So just stand under the light here and imagine Messi is next to you here, right? And you've got your arm around his waist, okay? So, all right, big smile. That's great. And do you want to have photos as well? I don't care for this team. <laughs> well, why not? I just don't care about football. Just stand next to Messi. OK. Just pretend to know him for the right. picture. Just pretend he's your friend. <laughs> Go on, okay. get me. <laughs> I just need you to put this put arm out. Why would I wouldn't touch Messi. I don't know him. <laughs> it's inappropriate. Do it. <laughs> Click it. You really want to take this picture this like a, that? This is... I don't want to take the picture at all, but given that the picture's being taken... <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Distressed by their lack of empathy... Give my regards to Messi. I will. I make one last search for sincerity by ascending to the apogee of the sporting basilica. Oh! There we go. <laughs> nice oh! oh! <laughs> That's a crying shame. Oh, Erwin, I'm so sorry. I'm just so pleased it's not me. I can't lie, I want to feel bad for you, but the relief that that wasn't me is so great. That Drop is... it. Oh, oh, careful. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Now you can see the it's magnification. Okay. If yes. you remember how the how big the car was before. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm in such a state of shock, <laughs> yeah. I can't really remember anything. I don't even remember who you are. Okay. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah. I just know we've done something bad. <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. Okay. Shall we look through? Shall we go and okay. more gloves? Let's look at the other room of breakables, okay. shall we, Erwin? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, crumbs. Fine. So okay. in flamenco, if someone's weak, you just abandon them. Is that what happened? You just go to the strong person. But sure. let's continue. Okay. This let's is different. This is different. Fly. Okay. Stop. Okay. Okay. I grew up in Peckham. When a brother like me is in this position, bad stuff's going down. Bueno, chicos, ha sido un placer. Tengo otra clase y me tengo que ir. Vale. Sensing that it would be fruitless to overrefine a raw, expressive talent like mine, Manuela calls it a dia. Okay. I like this. Gas. Yeah. Perhaps it's not the best memento. But just fill every refillable butane lighter in the world. OK. Well, I don't know you can take that on the plane. That looks... Well, that's well, I'll, literally I'll just, flammable. No, that's but I'll just fill is. a lot of lighters while I'm here. And then take all the lighters on separately. If you're getting through that many lighters here, I'm going <laughs> to recommend you cut down. <laughs> so, I, these two, I'm not sure what you'd call them. This one, 20 dirham. Each. Johnny, get in here. How much? One well, piece, 20 dirham. What, 20 for one? Yeah. Oh, come on. Johnny, Johnny does not please, like the sound of that. Please, please. We're on a limited budget. Say for 30, 35, times three. OK. Yeah? And then the T... 25. Whoa, now. Now. Come on. That's I mean, I know me tea. I sell a lot of tea in the UK. You're talking to Mr T? Trust me. I mean, I not the real like... Mr T. We can get him. Both for 40. And I'll do a picture holding the tea for you. The whole lot for a hundred. Hundred? Hundred for all. Okay. I don't feel totally comfortable with your energy level at the moment. You seem kind of down about it. Are you okay with this? Yeah, okay. I'm going to give you some more money because because yeah, but it's not a game show. Huh? I'm well aware of that. It lacks the ratings and the razzmatazz. I know, but you're missing out on the whole okay. ethos of bartering. No, I don't like this. Is... The man looks down. So I'm going to leave another 50 dirham. OK? Because... It's not everything. Is that enough now? OK, I'll give you 100 you more dirham. Greg, why did you insist that I sit at this angle? Because <laughs> for me, this is a bad angle. <laughs> I am not engaging with this. Quite nice, but it feels like it's building to something oh. sinister. Yeah. Oh, that! There! That's sinister. This is a woodland version of Stomp. I imagine this looks. It doesn't look good, Greg. This is nice. Ah! Oh, wow. I deserve this. Bang. Oh. 
With Greg bewhacked into new strata of sensation, he moves with unearthly alacrity to the traditional post-steam ice-cold douche. There are people who work here in the background actively laughing. <laughs> Ready? Go. Well, that was creepy. How do you feel about it? I went in there with a tick list of three things, Richard. OK. I Tell want, me what was on the tick list. I wanted to wear a hat, maybe look like a sinister children's character. Tick. I wanted topless men to thrash me with sticks. Tick. And then I wanted to be driven close to a heart attack with ice-cold water. Well, that's excellent news for the tick chart. Because Thanks so much. Because that's for... three ticks. I think... Let's go on, let's explore. There might even be more to Moscow than that. There doesn't seem much point, but let's but try. Let's soldier on. Oh, wow, this is creepy. So, oh, it's too hot in here. Well, it's a place to relax. Like my face is being attacked. What you probably notice here in, uh, in, in Finland that, uh, that we are not that all expressive or something very, very social or talkative. We also like our own little moments of peace. Okay. And sauna can be like that. It's, right. It's a place for, for, for relaxing. So okay. Yeah. I don't see how relaxed you can be when your eyes are on fire. Like my, I mean, I feel yeah. like you, I'm you're, burning. You're, yeah, my, you, I can't touch my glasses. They're hot. I don't know what... I can't hold them, but also on my face they're burning. Now, most people, do they have saunas in their homes? They would. Actually, um, and there's about five and a half million people here. We have more than three million saunas, different kinds here. I've uh, got to say, Carrie, I'm shutting down mentally now. I've, I've reached, I'm like <laughs> a computer you, you that's did. overheating yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I need the fan to be going Don't round, or the, it should be making that weird... <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot. It's too we have a phrase This is the same temperature as something that's burning. <laughs> I don't think you're doing yourself any favours by keeping the robe on, but I understand why. I can't. I don't want to give anyone watching this an erection. Well, too late. I would say if I had a dream, yes. it would be to stand outside the Vatican holding hands with one of my favourite comedians. Just spontaneously, romantically, holding... Well, I don't think we can get Jim Davidson out here at such short notice. Right. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Well, it's not a la carte. Fibo is the leading brand of automatique restaurants which have been a Dutch institution since the 40s. Today, there are 65 peppered around the country offering hot snacks to dudes who, for some unimaginable reason, might have the munchies. The good thing about this is that this joint opens till 3 a.m. My treats. Oh, that's very good of you. Mm, it's almost... Hello. Oh. oh, get your hand out of my vending machine. <laughs> there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Lovely motion on that door. You're welcome. Mm -mm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's a good croquette. Enjoyable? It is actually really nice. You want to try some more? No. So you brought me here to make me eat something that you're not going to eat. That's right. Oh, wow. wow. It's John Bonhaming this. <laughs> he is. OK, are you going to play bass He's on going this? going solo. Ooh. What are you doing? Does it feel good, Come kind of? on! You're just punching me now. You're not whining anymore. It must feel good. Oh! That's your sinuses. Yeah, This is hell. I have pushed through the pain now, and I'm getting some serious release. Whoa! <laughs> you get the heck away from me. You back it up. Back it up. Back it up, mister. Can I say one thing to you? Yes! Merry Christmas. Thank you. John and I make a silent pact to meet back here under cover of night and remove this man's hands before they kill again. Stop it. And as groups of people start to oscillate more wildly than Morrissey's capacity for compassion, we move from a physical invasion to a psychological one. Because I have quite special gongs here. OK. It's no woo-woo magic. No. It's physics. Panama safely perched on my groin, 
King Gong Cosmar Solarius clangs his symbols, tuned to the planet, based on a cosmic octave... Just try and have an open mind. ..with the express intention of resetting our body's cell membranes. With the tinnitus taking hold, Cosma starts to encroach on my person. It's one o'clock. It's two o'clock. Maybe it's three o'clock. He doesn't know how to end it. Four. Me. After 90 magical mins, we are all one and a half hours older. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, it's everybody. Been, it's been a cracking afternoon, lad. Are you going to take your top off? How dare you? I'm going to take my top off, though. Of course you are. Is that OK for you? Why don't you go into the water and then playfully remove your top and throw it to shore? That's what you'd like to see, is it? That's what you've been thinking about whilst we've been standing here. No, I'm just trying to think of a way not to get the mic wet. The saline saturation makes a bod hecka buoyant, and millions of bathers come to bob like corks on the slush. Ow, ow, ow. What have we been doing that? So what you want to do is this. I feel very uncomfortable with that. Beautiful. The whole lake shrunk 30%. Probably won't be here next Christmas. Go on, Richie, you've got to go on your back. I don't want to go on my back. That's the point, you float in it. It's not why the sea's here. It is. It's not. That's not why it is. That's weird. That's weird. Very weird. Look at that. It's bloody salty. I've got I've got that in my mouth. Come on, Richard. It's Christmas. Sorry, I've gone all Robbie Fowler, but I've got a lot of salt in my mouth. Are you still definitely not going to float? I can't float. It's not right. Oh, good night. I'm going to come out of this frickin' saline dumping house. Can you get me some crisps? Salt and vinegar. Bye bye bye. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I that was that was a very awkward handshake because I came it was in. It's like three way. I actually inserted. That became a pile up. It is. That was like he's just left. I think that's one of the worst farewells <laughs> I've been a part of. Salt. Salt. Okay. I'll go grey. Okay, so that's poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. She's doing all of it. She wouldn't. You wanted yours. <laughs> she didn't even let me participate. OK, so now I will take our bajanki to the oven. Yes. I wanted to do it. It's meant to be a workshop. After a prox eight minutes at 180 degrees, our rings are ruddy baked. OK, so your bajanki are ready. I'm pretty impressed. They look good. Can we eat them? Are they...? Yeah, we can. No, they're not that hot. Oh. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Reactions, etc. Delicious and hot. Over a quarter of the tourists who come to do to the Brovnik are simply searching for locations used in Game of Thrones, and thus we take our tails to the Jesuit steps. We need to fix that step. There's something wrong with it. Hello. Hello. Where guide Ivan is scoping the very same spot as one of the show's most massively moving scenes. I will show you the walk of shame from Game of Thrones. Oh, the walk, walk of shame. shame. That was a bit of a walk of shame just then. It, it was. Trip. Why do people have to walk successfully between two points? Let me ask, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Never seen it, have you? Never seen it. You've never seen it? No. Never seen it. <laughs> 